All right, cool. We're in Temple Square. Yeah, we are. What are your thoughts? Honestly, we had a really good conversation. Um, I think we did. I think Stan and I did a really good job of validating why the Bible is true and how we have what the original authors wrote. Um, and then from that, we kind of took our conversation and basically said, "Give us a reason why we should believe in Joseph Smith and why why, why we should believe him and not Jesus because they were opposed." Um, and I don't I don't think they could give us a good reason. I think we did a really good job of validating it, and I think I think we did a really good job of being uh, scripturally sound and. You, we, we use different scriptures and ask questions, and we're able to uh, use them, just basically give them something to think about. Um, we weren't able to pre present our gospel. We went too long, and they had to go to lunch. And, um, yeah. We weren't able to. I wasn't, able, and we weren't able to pray over them because they kind of had to scattle out of there. So, um, but but other than that, uh, I think we did a really good job. They're really nice. I, I'll probably follow up with them because I live here. Um, but yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I think that. It was a really good conversation. It was a long conversation, um, and, and I think we we challenged it with some questions that they hadn't thought about before. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think that it was interesting at the end there because we were talking about progression and asking, you know, the idea of okay, did Jesus progress if he was God already, like. I don't know, it seems like, but they'll say that, you know, Jesus created the heavens and the earth, but they don't really mean that he created, he, he created what, I guess, Heavenly Father allowed him to create, mm -hmm. but he didn't create everything. And then, again, when they say creation, they mean and Jesus didn't re create reorganizing, Father. reorganizing matter. Yep. Um, so, and it was also interesting, she, like, Cole asked, okay, did um, Heavenly Father progress? And it was interesting that she didn't, um, she wasn't sure about that, or at least one of them. Um, and, you know, to, to most LDS, you'd think that they would be pretty you know, firm and confident. You know, Heavenly Father was once a man and became a god. Um, you know, the Lorenzo Snow says, as man is, God once was, as God is, man may become. Um, and it's interesting, a lot of, I think, I'm not sure if it's just miss missionaries are told to not really talk about that. Or if they legitimately don't really know that part of their uh, their doctrine, um, or if they they question if that's really you know if, if that's actually um, you know official doctrine or not. So I think we started the conversation really well talking about Adam and Eve, and their their stance was actually that Adam and Eve needed to sin to be able to follow the commandments after, because mm -hmm. they said because God said be fruitful multiply before the fall. But we couldn't do it until we fell. Yeah, so that we was a good question. We had to disobey to obey. Yeah, that was a good question. Um, and and first, is it first or second Nephi? There's um, a verse in the Book of Mormon that says. Oh, that I think it was first. First Nephi it says God won't give you a commandment that you can't keep. Three seven. First Nephi three seven. Okay, and and then we asked them. Okay, based off of that. So Adam and Eve, they they could have kept the commandment God gave them to not eat of the tree the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, yet they disobeyed. And so they disobeyed God, but in Mormon theology, their disobeying God was actually, um, it was fulfilling God's purpose for them to have free agency. Um, and so we were trying to ask about that and challenge, like, well, does that really make sense? If, if before God, uh, before the fall happened, God said, be fruitful and multiply. So they actually could have fulfilled that um, before the fall, right? It seems like. Um, and yet they believe that they had to disobey God before they could fulfill that commandment. And then they kind of, I think they got confused and they tried to turn it on us and they said, they said that we said you needed to sin to gain knowledge. And I said, whoa, hold on, hold on. No, you said that. And then mm -hmm. she was about to make a point, but then I was like, no, you guys said that. And then she was like, oh. So, yeah. Overall, good conversation. Learned from it. I definitely learned um, different approaches that we might be able to take. Learned uh -huh. you know, what kind of worked well, what, what we can improve on. I, th I think I'm realizing that uh, like, like I keep thinking if I say one thing wrong that someone's going to uh, get offended. But I, I think I'm realizing that I can push a little bit on Smith and what he did. And just And just contradiction in general. Mm -hmm. So um, that's probably the goal next time is to be able to do that. 
Yeah. Yeah. All right.